Uh, both Pfizer and Moderna COVID-19 shots for little ones will start to show up at doctor's offices and pharmacies as early as today. But as Eva mentioned, polls show that parents are still hesitant to get children under six vaccinated. Infectious disease specialist at South Shore Health, Dr. Simone Wilds, is here to help us break it all down. Dr. Wilds, thank you for being here. I'm a parent of two little ones myself, so we have so many questions right now. How do parents like me wade through all of the information and misinformation out there to make an informed decision on whether or not to get your child vaccinated? Diane, thanks for having me. I can understand your questions and concerns. Um, what we have shown is that the data has been it's been safe and it's effective for children. Um, the FDA has gone through a very rigorous process. I would say that I would encourage you to talk to your pediatrician, your healthcare provider, just discuss which vaccine was going to work best for you. Either a choice will be fine. And the key thing is you want to have your children protected as they get ready for the summer and also for school in the fall. Well, so I want to ask you about both of those things because we are now heading into summer. Kids tend to spend a lot more time outside now. They're not locked up in classrooms with a lot of other children. So given that immunity does wane over time, should parents wait until just before the school year? to get their children vaccinated since that's when it seems like they would be exposed more? Diane, a really great question and one that I get asked all the time, especially as summer is here. Um, I would say to parents, this is actually a great time to get your children vaccinated. I know they're outdoors, but so the fall will be here before you know it. We want to make sure that they are protected when it's time to go to school. Because again, there is like a four week interval before you get the vaccine, then it takes two weeks later. I think the key thing is just to make sure they have their vaccines now so they're protected. And yes, being outdoor always helps, but remember the vaccines are really very safe and effective longer term than if you get an infection, which the immunity wanes. And we saw, you know, pharmacies, drugstores are administering this. Eva was just there at one. But in most states, pharmacists are not allowed to give vaccines to children under three. So where do those parents have to go if they want to vaccinate their children? Really important that right now you have to contact your pediatrician, your family physician, your local community center. Find out um, where they are, if they are administering the vaccine, and if they don't, they will have the information as to where you can get the vaccine. So lots of different sources where you can get the information, given that you might not be able to get it at the pharmacy. But, you know, we're making all provisions to make sure our children get their vaccines. All right, Dr. Simone Wilds, always great to have you. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.